welcome to my weekly vlog in Ghana. So I really want to show you my whole experience of moving to Ghana from London. Um, originally from Montreal, moved to Montreal, to London, now London, to Ghana. So quite an adventure, but super excited. Um, today is Sunday. I moved out here on Friday. Um, it's been quite busy getting around and stuff. Um, today I went to China Mall on Spintex Road. Got some hangers. I just want to hang all my clothes up in my closet. Um, I start work on Wednesday, a teaching job, which I'm super excited about. And yeah, I'm just trying to get everything organized. I bought, um, I'm kind of regretting leaving all my hangers in London. I bought hangers, I think they came three in a pack for... 16 cities i'm kind of like mm, i could have got more from ikea um i'll show you what i'm talking about there are these hangers only three for 16 cities i'm kind of like mm, is it worth it is it not i know ikea can get more way more for cheaper so i'm kind of like hangers are pretty expensive out here and it was china mall which is supposed to be a bit cheaper but yeah anyway so i'm just trying to get things ready Monday, which is tomorrow, I'm going to be going to MTN to get mobile money because in Ghana, most things that you need to pay for are through mobile money. So I'm just trying to get that sorted on my phone, get some Wi-Fi data, um, get some more hangers because I bought so much clothes. Um, what else? Yeah, just doing lots of rounds. So I'll bring you through the whole process, my first week in Ghana. And yeah. Good morning everyone, so I just finished getting ready, it is currently around 8.30, I'm going to try to go to MTN to get mobile money on my phone, then do some errands, like I said I need to get some more hangers, um, I'm going to try a spot called Malcolm, see how that goes, get an iron as well, and yeah, so I'll just take you through the whole process today, Monday morning. I start work on Wednesday, so I'm just trying to get so much done before Wednesday. And yeah, and it's 8.30 a.m. and there's drumming going around, which I'm not really sure about, but if I see it, I'll definitely let you in the loop of what is going on on my street. So yeah, alrighty, so gonna head out, try to do as much as I can, be productive today get all these things done i really want to get my wardrobe set up so that in the morning for work it's just everything's easy to just find and look for and yeah so see you soon
so the teacher and me obviously had to check out the school supplies and I was super curious about how much things were and I was super shocked by the prices as you can see so definitely 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 if you're a teacher and you're moving to Ghana I would definitely recommend shopping back home and bringing school supplies here a sharpener is nine cities workbooks if you're a parent is 40 cities around I have I see labels for seven cities posting up for 12 cities um, the prices really ranged um, these are not really fixed prices because I feel if you went somewhere else in Ghana for school supplies the prices will differ but I definitely recommend going to a one pound store if you're in the UK dollar store if you're in Canada and Dollar Tree if you're in United States of America so Then I went to Palace to check out some things and I noticed they have shore spray that they have in the UK which my mom absolutely loves. So definitely if you're curious about what's in Ghana, please comment below and I'll make sure I can check for you what's here and what's not. delicious cupcake from Cupcake Boutique. It's so good. Today was a nice day out with my friend Aisha. Hey. <laughs> and she's from Montreal. So it's so nice to connect with someone from Montreal. So yeah, really enjoying our time before I start work next week. <laughs> 